Hello and welcome to Manhattan Project Energy Empire in about 3 minutes. It is a game for 1 to 5 players. It has a solo mode. Playing time is around 2 hours. It's a moderately complex game. World War 2 is over and the nuclear age has begun. You are the government of a major world power as the great technological advances of the Cold War take place. You will need to build infrastructure, educate workers, keep your environment clean and provide the power needed to make it all run. The winner of this game is the player with the most points at the end. You gain points from buildings, achievements, supporting the global order, and having a clean environment. The game ends when the pollution markers run out. Competitive. Only one player can have the greatest energy empire. Worker placement. Placing workers on the board to gain benefits is the main action in this game. Engine building. Building cards that combine effects and work together are key to winning. Player turn. The resources in this game are money, plastic, steel, science, oil, power plants, workers, energy, and pollution. Each player is a different nation, and they start with different resources and a unique way to advance the UN track. Most turns, you'll place one worker on the board and take that action, paying any cost shown. For example, you place a worker at the government market and choose to buy the National Resources card. This costs either one science or three money. If a worker is already in a spot you want to use, you must pay at least one more energy than the worker already in that space. Many cards have a pollution cost. If they do, take it from the pollution track and add it to your board. This may trigger an event, which happens immediately. Once you have taken your worker action, you can activate any buildings you own with the same color. So in this case, green buildings. You can place workers or energy on the spaces on those cards and use their effects. This one allows you to spend one science to clean up two points of pollution. One point can either flip a nuclear marker or remove a normal pollution. This card requires two energy or workers, and this card has two slots, but you can only use one per activation. You can also use your nation card, paying the cost to advance the UN track for victory points. You can also choose not to place a worker and generate power. If you have two workers or energy left when you do that, you can claim an achievement. Reclaim all your workers from the board. Power generation requires power plants that you must buy here, and they're represented by dice. You can also spend up to four oil for oil dice. Roll any of the power plants you want, count up the energy symbols, and that's how much energy you now have. The highest dice rolled also determines if you get pollution. Keep playing until a pollution stack runs out. Why would you like this game? Energy Empire is a game for people who like building game engines, and who like to be able to play with that engine for a long time. There's a great variety of buildings and paths to victory, and adapting your engine based on what cards and actions are available is the key to winning the game. The components are top quality, and I particularly love the chunky steel tokens. The pollution timer keeps the game advancing rapidly, and gives all players a nice idea of how long the game has to go. And the environmental message is done well, with pollution hampering your chances of winning, but being a necessary part of developing your nation. Each different nation's starting position gives you a different focus each time you play. The best thing about this game is when your engine is running and you have a lot of power, and one worker placement becomes half a dozen different actions. However, there are an awful lot of interactions to keep track of in this game, and it requires a lot of attention to detail. So while it's not complex mechanically, it is still one of those games that could be incredibly overwhelming to some people. And like a lot of engine builders, you can get a runaway leader, and there is little other players can do to rein them in. If you love the engine building aspect of this game, you'll probably enjoy terraforming Mars. And there are also the other games in the Manhattan Project family that you might want to check out. Manhattan Project Energy Empire. Three gigawatts of a game. If you enjoyed this video, like it, subscribe to the channel, and check out our Patreon.